Thank you very much, Dale. Well, local shelters uh, will start filling up as the temperatures continue to drop tonight, but the shelters can only hold so many people, leaving others to fend for themselves. Our Greg Chandler spoke with some of the homeless today who are bracing for a very long and cold night. He's live now outside City Hall with more. Greg. Lee, as you may be able to tell behind Lee, many of the homeless gather here at City Hall because it's close to several of the city's shelters, soup kitchens, and other charities. However, some of the homeless I spoke with earlier today say they don't think they'll be able to get into a shelter during this cold front, leaving them to find other options. Corpus Christi's homeless are gearing up for a chilly week. I don't know where I'm going, plain and simple. Overnight lows are expected to be near freezing levels. Those who can't find room at a local shelter will have to find other ways to keep warm. Bundle up as much as I can, probably uh, look for a tent, maybe a one man tent or something and get some cover. When temperatures drop, local shelters take in as many homeless as possible, but demand outweighs supply. And many homeless get left out in the cold. Everybody's going to be way full to capacity. They're going to do everything they can. But when one shelter gets full, they'll try and call another one, but sometimes there's not enough. You know. It depends on how many people's coming through town. Monday, one local charity stopped outside City Hall with warm clothes. Okay. This guy just gave me a jacket. I didn't have a jacket. I got a beanie. I got some socks. I'm really warm. I'm very grateful. Some homeless even picking up items with others in mind. I'm going to get a blanket now. If I don't end up using it, somebody you run into will. A small, heartwarming act on a cold night. Everybody out here ain't bad. Yeah, but yeah, it's cold out here, man, you know, that's just the way it is. Now, charities will be out this evening as well with warm meals, hot chocolate, and of course, blankets. The homeless people we spoke with earlier say they appreciate those efforts. They just wish there was more room inside the shelters. Lee.